speech portion of this thing. I just want me to thank you for the opportunity to be here. You know, this is a, my numbers are right, but 99 is most of the five states I've been to in the last five weeks. So. I think it's important. I think it's important that your national officers get down to the post level. And this is where the rubber meets the road. You know, we talk about national level. we got a great big toolbox up there. And we'll open that toolbox up and we'll give you anything that we have to help you be successful. Same way with your department level and your district level. But this is where the rubber meets the road. This is where the work gets done. This is where the community service gets done. And I think it's just so important that, that we advertise. The best advertisement in the world is the great community service work that you do. And when you add us all together, nearly 7,000 DFW folks, you add us all together, we do millions of volunteer hours a year out in the community. We spend millions of dollars on community projects every year. Every year. That's how important you are to your community. <clears throat> and that's why you make a difference, because you make a difference right there in your community. Uh, you know, I've been asked, uh, why do we even have a VFW? What's the purpose? Uh, do we really even need to have one? I think we Spanish-American War, Philippine insurrection. There wouldn't be no VFW if America had took care of her better, but she didn't do it. Many of them came home, a private got $15.20, two months pay, and the clothes on the back, wasn't no VA hospital, wasn't no educational benefits, wasn't a home loan guarantee, no GI Bill, there wasn't any of that. So many of them sick and in the wounds of war and the illnesses and lived on the streets begging for food. America didn't take care of her veterans. And that's why we're here. That's why we got started. To take care of America's veterans and their families. That has to be our number one priority. Now, we got some great programs out there. Uh, Firemen, policemen, EMT, Voice of Democracy, Patriots, Men, Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, Buddy Poppies. We got wonderful programs out there, but our number one mission has to be taking care of veterans and their families. So it's important. <laughs> We're we'll talking about National Veteran Service Officers. I belong to many other organizations, just as many of you do. I never say anything, anything bad about anybody that helps veterans or families, and I'm not going to. But what I will say, $3.7 billion of VFW service officers brought in last year, federal money, into families, into DIC pensions for widows, educational benefits for our veterans, and certainly uh, uh, the earned benefits uh, for our disabled. $3.7 billion. If anybody thinks the government would have just wrote that check without us, it wouldn't have happened. They wouldn't have done it. Somebody has to fight for them. Somebody has to fight for them. So that's how important our national legislative services are. Uh, national, uh, or natural veteran service. National legislative service. Why are we in Washington, D.C.? Why do we have to have a presence there? I think everybody can remember back in October last year sequestration was bad enough. 20% cut across the board. And it's both of them, Democrats and Republicans. They couldn't get their act together, so what are they going to do? They're going to hurt the veterans and their families. Are you kidding me? That's why when we put out those alerts, it's so important. It's so important you be a part of action for them. Because when I put, put that alert out, you got their attention. You made a difference. But the 20% across the board wasn't the worst thing. Worst thing happened when the government shut down. We had troops killed in Afghanistan. If somebody, nobody will claim it, because I couldn't find nobody that said it was a good idea or nobody that took responsibility for it, but somebody made a decision they weren't going to pay death gratuity benefits because the government shut down. And they had insult to injury, they told their families to get to Dover, Delaware, and basically, are you kidding me? Well, when I put that alert out, we burned them up. I can tell you this, we had an Oklahoma congressman that called and said, look, I'm on your side on this thing. Make the phone call to stop. So you see you see the effect that you make when we all stick together? Not just the VFW, the other VSOs out there. And there's some good ones out there. When we stick together, we make change. We make effect. Uh, you know, when I go in front of Congress, which I did in early March, and do the testimony for the organization, thank you for that privilege. They're looking at me and I'm talking to them. It's not me they're concerned with. It's the 1.9 million members of our BMW and our auxiliary they're concerned with. 
know, they say politicians don't do a whole lot well, but let me tell you what they do good. They count votes. They count votes, and they know veterans vote at a higher rate, and their families vote at a higher rate than the normal public vote, and they know that. So that's, that's what I'm saying. That's why we have to stay strong. We 